Good morning, and welcome to Daylight with Dean number 253 on January 6th, 2021. This is my first daylight of the new year, and I am so, so, so grateful to be here with you this morning. Uh, let's begin by doing a sound check. All right, sounds okay. Volume may be a little low, but I didn't want to blast you out with the gain level, as they say, my first time back. So I hope you can turn your volume level up on your device to hear okay. And let's begin with our first sip of coffee this morning. Now I have to warn you, uh, during my bout with COVID, whenever I would drink coffee, I would begin to cough. So I'm not sure if that will be the case this morning. Would not surprise me, but I'm ready to go if so. Let's enjoy our first sip of coffee together this morning. Still, still hits home. Mm. So I just wanted to come on for a few minutes this morning to let you all know that I am alive. And this morning, I can let you know that I am also well. Uh, yesterday was the first day since um, Christmas Day that I feel well. Um, so I started feeling cruddy uh, just with a slight cough on Christmas Day. And the following Sunday I tested positive and... Um, didn't really feel much the first four days other than just some achiness. I didn't have much energy, but I, I, I was taking it easy, wasn't trying to push through or do anything. Scrambled to get uh, the sermons and preaching and all that covered. Was able to do my online stuff because my camera guy had just recovered from COVID, so I knew I wouldn't give it to him. <laughs> So, um, filmed the last two uh, Sundays. The first one we filmed on Saturday before I was diagnosed, but I knew I wasn't feeling well. And talked to my camera guy about it, and he was fine. And then last Sunday, Saturday morning, we filmed early, and I felt really lousy. But uh, was able to do my online message. But, uh, man, other than that, the last time I was on was... Thursday, a week ago, tomorrow on New Year's Eve, and uh, that was the great adventure where I took you all around outside and showed you all the snow, and it looked great, and then from then on, I just felt miserable. <laughs> I don't quite know how to describe it. Um, uh, let's just say this. I felt bad enough that I was happily taking my Tylenol, cold and flu. I would go to bed at night and take Tylenol PM and go to bed at night and just tossed and turned like a rotisserie chicken all night long. I would lay in my recliner and just lay there and, and just couldn't get comfortable. Um, I didn't have a temperature, didn't have a fever, but I would get chills every once in a while, just a couple times that I could, you know, get a warmer blanket on and feel fine, but if not feel fine, but the chill would go away. Um, it was, it's hard to describe. <laughs> I started coughing, uh, just some real dry, dry cough, no congestion really to speak of. 
um, for three or four days, coughed so much I felt like I was, uh, my ribs were broken. <laughs> it just, they hurt so bad. And then I remembered my doctor had given me some very, very high-powered cough medicine uh, last year. And I had some left over, and I said, well, I'm going to try it. And that was perfect. That knocked out the cough. I stayed with that for the past two days. And uh, yesterday morning, I felt really like I'd slept all night. Felt like I got a good night's rest. And uh, um, this morning, I feel really normal. Now, I don't, I haven't tested my energy. I haven't tried to do anything. I haven't gone for a walk outside. I haven't. (coughs) (coughs) Sorry about that. I was hoping to avoid that. Um, I haven't, I haven't seen how I feel under just normal circumstances. So we will see. I haven't taken any Tylenol for, um, about 30 hours now. So I don't think I'm masking any symptoms, but um, there you go. Um, That's been my journey. I want to thank all of you who asked if you could uh, help somehow. Uh, I think for the most part, if you asked, uh, I, I think I gave you some ways that you were able to bless. And I want to thank you for that. Uh, been deeply, deeply, deeply appreciated, appreciated, appreciated. <laughs> Not only now do I have uh, my lack of coffee consumption first thing in the morning as a good excuse, but I have uh, a COVID cranium uh, excuse now as well for any uh, mental goofiness. Um, so you'll also notice that I'm wearing a new. Uh, shirt from Sam's Club. Yes. Uh, My new wardrobe is coming from Sam's Club. Uh, They must have the new set of summer short sleeve habit uh, 2XL shirts because the last few times I've went they've had new colors and uh, when I went on Saturday a week ago I, I just loaded up. I think I got three three new ones to sport, so the next couple days we'll get to enjoy those together as well. I will get to wear my Steeler jersey when I preach on Friday and on Sunday morning for daylight. Uh, Looking forward to that. And uh, it was quite, quite, uh, quite fun to find these shirts. Um, and at the price, $15.98, I have not been scolded yet for buying them. So <laughs> that's for the long sleeve and the short sleeve ones. Um, so I'm going to hold off on the gym just a little bit longer because I don't quite know where my stamina is or strength is. So I'm not going to push that yet. But um, I'm so grateful to be feeling better and to be feeling nearly normal. Uh, And again, I haven't been up moving around a whole lot, so I don't know what that's going to feel like, but um, I'm grateful. Um, Just please continue to pray for my wife, Leslie. She, her uh, COVID test came back positive on Saturday, and she is in the middle of feeling pretty, pretty cruddy just uh, achy, exhausted. Um, I know my wife feels sick whenever she calls off school. And Monday and Tuesday, she went back to her online responsibilities here from home. And uh, yesterday, she said, I I can't do this tomorrow. So she called in. um, And so would appreciate if you prayed for Leslie. Uh, my son is uh, very afraid that we're both going to die. So 
I think he was relieved last night when I explained to him that I felt healthy and well. So, um, and um, Leslie is just in the middle of the worst cruddiness feeling she's had in a long time. So, if you could continue to pray for her, I would appreciate that. Both Ruby and Alex, who live upstairs in our house, have been uh, negative with their rapid and their three to five day test results on both Sunday a week and a half ago and Saturday four days ago. So, <laughs> so far they have managed to avoid things and i um, grateful for that. So, um, I think, that's, I think that's just about all I got this morning, guys. I wanted to come on and, and just visit with you, share with you, catch up with you. I had my first daylight of the new year on January 6th, not missed uh, six days in a row or five days in a row, as it were, before, so glad to be back, um, and uh, it's good, good, good to see you. So I'm still going to take it easy today, and um, I'm going to work on our new series of messages and Sunday sermon and cover some of that ground today, um, but uh, not planning on uh, running any marathons or doing anything extremely over the top as of yet. <laughs> so I hope that... Um, you have a great day planned. I hope your week is going well. I hope that you are staying safe and well. And I pray that God watches over and blesses you. And I'm so grateful for you. So let's, uh, let's pray together. Uh, Father, we're so thankful for the opportunity that we have to start our day with you. Lord, we're so grateful for this gift of life. And Father, I just pray for <clears throat> my wife, Leslie, that you would strengthen her. May she feel better. Uh, thank you that she's up drinking coffee this morning and just pray that you would um, allow her to rest and rest well and bless her, I pray. Father, I'm so grateful for <clears throat> the willingness of so many of my friends to offer to help and for those that I was able to take them up on that offer, I thank you for the many blessings and helpfulness. And God, I just ask that you would bless each person watching today, keep them safe, show them your faithfulness and your love and your goodness. And it's with great anticipation that we look forward to all that's ahead for us this morning and uh, we love you Jesus and thank you so much for your love for us in Jesus name we pray amen well guys uh, great to be with you great to see you again after being off nearly a week and uh, planning I'm planning on seeing you guys tomorrow morning God bless you all and uh, can't wait till I get to see you again Bye-bye.